Did you know that I have a poetry chat book? A chat book is basically a short collection of poems. I released it in January of 2019, and it focuses multilingually. Um, It focuses on self-love, women's empowerment, and microaggressions. So if that is something you are into, like the voice that you've been hearing lately, check Amazon. I'm also putting these in the show notes. And check out Liz Flow Reflex. Thank you. Welcome to Creatively Exposed, a conversation for creatives, introverts, sapiosexuals, and all of the people entertained and who love us. I am Liz Flo, the podcast host, poet, writer, and overall Afro-Caribbean Latina creative. I know that is a mouthful, but welcome to the show. Hello, everyone. I hope everyone who celebrated or indulged in family time and a lot of food enjoyed themselves, enjoyed everyone that they were with, and took care of themselves. Um, Today, I've been thinking about this for a while. Um, Self-confidence. Self-doubt, um, insecurity, and all of the lies we tell ourselves to remain small. Again, the year is officially almost over. Today is December 1st. So wake up, wake up. It's officially the first of the month. And so, with the waking up, are you also waking up your ability to be able? You know, I think that a lot of our mindsets, especially, I, I'll, you know, I'll talk about me. I've been in a box. I've played it small. I've made myself smaller for a long time. And when I'm about to do something, it's like, I can't do this. Or I'll question myself and be like, you tripping to think that, you know, and I'll put a story to myself. So let's, let's talk about insecurity and self-doubt. Um, as usual, I tend to think of it as energies. And the chakra that most influences your self-confidence is the solar plexus chakra. And that is found in the belly. So I just want to find the word... The definition of insecurity. And basically, it's the lack of confidence, uncertainty, or anxiety about one's self. A state of being open to danger or threat, lack of protection. So, let's talk about the solar plexus. It's actually one of... My favorites, um, because it's the one I struggle with the most. The color is usually yellow. And if you've ever worn yellow, you'll realize that something hit different when you wear yellow. And uh, you get excited. Or at least just check. And I always tell my friends... When you have, when you wear a certain color, and maybe it's not your favorite color. I was just discussing this with my hairstylist, you know, that 
there the body knows what we need, right? And sometimes without realizing it, we'll wear more of a color because the body is like, hey, I'm starving for this. Or you go to the grocery store and all of a sudden you have a whole bunch of bananas or yellow peppers or whatever. Whatever is red. Whatever is not red, yellow. See, red is on my mind. Grounding. And so I want to, let's just do this. I have found the lonerwolf.com yet again. So this website seems to be popping and there's a lot of great breakdowns on this website. So I wanted to use this one as a reference and I'm definitely putting it in the show notes because I want you to refer back to it. And so the solar plexus chakra is known as the lustrous gem energy within our bodies because it shines brightly like the sun when balanced. You see people who are like glowy all the time and they just like, it feels like they have an aura, just like a whole vibe that you're like, wow, this person really is is powerful with them themselves. And that's the key. Unlocking and balancing the power that you already have and have already been given. I think we tend to give it away or like shove it to the side and make it feel like it doesn't exist for whatever reasons, be it, you know, our upbringing, society, whatever that may be. And it even says it here, which I absolutely loved. If you have experienced a strict upbringing, upbringing, bullying or authoritarian parents, figures in your life, any kind of trauma or abuse, or were conditioned as a child with disempowering ideologies, traditions, religion, etc., you may have an impaired solar plexus chakra. Or have you just felt really bomb? You know, like you got your inner drive, you feel like you are sacred and you're the one in charge of your life. That's when your chakra is balanced. If you've had the the previous where it just, it's like things have stopped you from moving forward from believing in yourself, then you might have an impaired chakra. So so what, what is this? The chakra is also called the Manipura, and it's where our willpower, self-esteem, and energy of transformation is located. Six inches above your belly button within your diaphragm. And that chakra is responsible for regulating energy associated with action, intention, identity, and vitality. Creatives, do you see where I'm getting at? Excuse me. I know a lot of us make things, pull things out of nothing. And we'll publish a book, we'll publish 10 books, and still feel like we don't belong where we are. Or all of the writing that we have done is absolutely terrible. I hear it all the time. Oh, I'm just, I'm such a trash writer. And it's like, but you're brilliant. What are you doing? You got to balance your chakras, bro. Chakra healing. It can be done so many different ways. Um, Therapy. I will beat it into the ground. Therapy helps a lot. 
because you do start to create boundaries and you are able to be autonomous and feel like you're in control of your life when you realize and let go of all of the traumas that you've been suppressing. I champion therapy. I love all of the therapists that I have, have had, because I I see the difference. I went from being like a dim light bulb, ready to give out to like a stadium light. It's not every day, right? Because we all have our, our highs and our lows. But when you remind yourself who you are, and you're like, wait a minute. I am that person. You kind of just stand straighter and get get it going. So chakra healing can be aromatherapy. Crystal bowls. Um, I recommend just searching on YouTube for like solar plexus healing, um, frequencies, crystal bowls. There are certain tones that they have. Um, and even like certain songs. So if you have any song that you listen to and it just gets you really hype and ready to go, I would say create a playlist of like badass songs that make you feel like I got this. And whenever you're about to do something that scares the crap out of you, that's what you put on. And of course, yoga. Or any kind of movement, really. Um, So here we go. 17 signs of an unhealthy solar plexus chakra. And you got to get in tune with yourself. I do recommend meditating or if you feel meditating is too um, hard for you, just take a few minutes and sit in silence and just check how your body feels. Like, do you feel too much tension somewhere? Do you feel, um, because it's in the stomach, usually if you get a lot of upset stomachs, if you're bloated all the time, if you're not as frequent as you should be, you got to check all that because it's probably, your body alerting you that your chakra is off. <clears throat> Let me have some water. I'm feeling kind of dry. So some signs to look out for. You constantly feel fatigued and lazy. You're either overeating or overindulging, manipulating others to get what you want, or being easily manipulated. So you're feeling powerless in a week tend to bully or be bullied Um, because usually that just means that you're when you're the bullying or dominating person you're overcompensating for an insecurity lack of self-confidence in most areas of your life being unassertive Um, validation seeking that is a huge one If you need others to validate your existence, you have to ask yourself some questions because the only person that can validate you is yourself. Only you can know what makes you happy. Only you can do the things that make you happy. No one owes that to us. And I think that when we put such a big expectation on someone else for something that we should be looking for, it it leaks all the power that you have. And you start feeling and becoming small. And um, huge ego. When your ego is a little too big, that's also a problem. When your body temperature is, oh, I gotta check my chakra. When your body temperature is usually very cold or very hot, addictive tendencies, struggle to set boundaries, codependent relationships. Um, like I said, from issues with the digestive system, IBS, ulcers, hypoglycemia, 
diabetes, etc. 